This is a day I've been looking forward to for over a year, to share the breakthrough technology I have developed, which would revolutionize the way materials are processed. So let's begin. May it be the bio implant for your hip joint, or may it be the gears of your car. The manufacturing of these components needs a high temperature step. And since these materials are prone to oxidation, existing methods rely on the usage of expensive and complex techniques using things like high vacuum furnace or the usage of protective gas like argon. Because if we process these materials in air, they will lead to the formation of their corresponding oxides. And there's a huge wall between oxidation and high cost of production. And I broke this wall. I did it by being the very first to process oxidation-prone materials in air, by processing the material and encapsulating the material with potassium bromide, a gas type cladding is formed, which is impervious to the ambient oxygen and protects the material from oxidation at low temperature. And as the salt melts at high temperature, the material is submerged in molten salt. And this molten salt cuts off the oxygen supply at high temperature, preventing oxidation at high temperature. Further recovery of the material can be done by dissolving the salt in water. The beauty of this process is that everything takes place in ambient atmosphere without the need of any expensive equipment. This is a breakthrough in the field of material science, and it will revolutionize the way oxidation bone materials are processed, and it triggers innovation in at least three different classes of material. The very first application being the synthesis of non-oxide ceramic powders, which I use for the manufacturing of ceramic matrix composites, but you can also use it for cutting tools or manufacturing the brakes of automobiles. Dense metal components were also manufactured, starting from metallic powders, with a potential application in aerospace and biomedical industry. Not just dense metal parts, but porous components were also manufactured, starting from metal powders using this process, which finds application in artificial skull, human skull reconstruction, with the possibility of living cell proliferation within it. These porous components can also be used in heat exchangers for the recuperation of energy. This patented process is not just simple, but also cheap, and is expected to bring down the cost of a lot of components. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking the wall of oxidation with just salt and water.